After a career that spanned decades and the globe, HMA's success has sailed into Sydney Harbour for the last time. It's a bittersweet day for the captain and crew saying goodbye to a ship that served us in peacetime and war. First Lady of the Fleet takes her final bow, her white ensign brought down. A great day and, a, and for some of us, perhaps all of us, a very sad day. HMAS success. Today, its crew of 210, for a final time, marched off our oldest warship, the battle tanker. As we say, the ships with all the guns, they can't get to the war without us. She was the last ship built at Sydney's Cockatoo Island. Her launch wasn't ideal. Finally, success. From 1986, the Navy's workhorse has replenished the fleet with fuel and supplies deployed during the Fiji coup, the conflict in East Timor, in the Middle East during the Gulf War, and the search for Malaysian flight MH370. She's been brilliant, especially the last four months to get her home was unbelievable. She did well. Werner Stack was in the first crew of success and its last, as they all said goodbye, grabbing a few memories. But in the Navy, you don't stand still. I'll be posted on to your new ship, Sydney. So I'll be commissioning that one. After 33 years' service, today it's farewell to success. Tomorrow, HMAS Newcastle is decommissioned. It's a kind of Navy pre-spring clean-out. The Chilean Navy is expected to take Newcastle. The success... She will be dismantled gracefully uh, and, and scrapped. Until a younger success arrives. 